Okay, take three of this video. What's going on gamers? It's your boy Fallen Angel 14 and welcome back to another tutorial I don't need to explain anything in title because you guys kind of get the gist of it at this point So um let, Without further ado, let's get right into the ships now if you guys um Don't have all the software. I am not gonna go over it again But I will link all the software that I use in the description below so you guys can make it easier on yourselves Just way I have it easier on my end. I need to breathe, but yeah, so First, we're gonna modify the ship. We're, we're gonna. I'm teaching how to do ships, so obviously I'm gonna modify a ship. But I'm gonna be doing a ship for my texture pack because um, I don't have anything better to edit. So let's just go continue with what I'm doing. So I'm gonna be doing ship 13. It might depend on your ship. And uh, hold on. But you wanna go edit your ship, and uh, yeah, you just wanna select the ship that you wanna do. I'm gonna do this boy. Now, what I like to do is I like to grab them dimensions and multiply that by 5 because editing something that small is hell and a pain to do so. What you're going to do is open up your trusty Google Calculator. Q. Wait, there we go, Calculator. And then we're going to go, it, I believe it was 80 times 5. And it's not typing, okay. 80 times 5. Boom, 400, so that's the first dimension by 44 okay so and then we're gonna do 44 times 5 220 therefore we have our dimension set now we do it was 220 yeah 220 220 and that is our dimension now after that you're gonna open up your trusty icon kit and then go to the leading ship that you have mine is ship 13 so I'm gonna go get that right now don't copy that please don't copy Okay, there we go. I mean, don't cut that. Okay. Now, it's gonna ask that. I'm gonna do this. And then just kind of ship it. Ship it. Shape it into the proper sh into the proper file size that it needs to be. So, I'm gonna move it down this way. Move it a little bit up this way. And make sure that all the pixels reach. You are gonna have to do some readjusting later. I don't know exactly how the methods fully work on this. But I'm giving you guys the best method possible for this. But yeah. So, we got that done. Now... What I like to do, if you guys could do that, if you guys could do this too if you want, if it helps you. But I like to put a background, a dark background. And then I like to make this 100 so I can see it faded. And, uh... If you guys want, you could follow this part, the step of the tutorial. This isn't mandatory, but if you want to, you can. I just like to do this because, you know... I'm falling. I like to plan my things in here. So, um, yeah. I like to grab my trusty tablet for this one grab my trusty tablet with my pen and I like to draw out whatever I'm going to make so because it's less painful on you guys you guys are gonna have a fast version of this but it's actually gonna take me quite some time to make this so you guys will hear my you guys will hear my voice once it's over okay so I'll get my sketch in and then you guys can just enjoy the music and watch me speed through this Alright gamers, well I finished that, so um, this is the drawing of the train, I know it looks poor right now, but just the way how good it looks later on. So, now that we got, yeah, this, I use this for reference, oh wait, hold on, I forgot one last thing. You know what, I'll add that afterwards, but yeah. So, once you have, once you start the building process, I don't know if you guys did the same thing what I did with the trace, um, drawing the thing, but yeah, it looks really bad at first, but this is where we get interesting now the ship size is normally nine for the brush thickness so let me just check that's the wrong one I usually grab the line tool to make all my designs here so I just do this and test the width and it looks just about right so with that being said we could I could get rid of this layer well uncheck it so it won't be visible and I'll just yeah I'll just line up everything with the tracing and make it look better So, here we go, we have that done, and uh, 
yeah, you basically just trace out whatever you're gonna do or use whatever you want to make it. But remember, remember what I told you guys about the first video. The primary and secondary colors do, the secondary color matters where it is. So, my secondary color can only go within this area of the ship. Mean, oh wait, no, with this area of the ship, because I forgot the whites there. But yeah, so it could go like within, wait, oh my god, I'm so bad at this. So yeah, so we're around this area because this is how the game sets it, so I can only have the custom co the second color in here. So, you guys do have to pay attention to that. I explained that in the first video, if you guys want a little more information on that, I probably I probably provided information, I don't remember. But yeah, that's what I have there. This is, this is the only secondary color it could go. Nowhere else above this, so yeah. But now that you have that done, yeah, now that you have everything ready, now you're ready to like make your ship. Use the line tool, and you could like, just to show you a quick example, you could always shift it in multiple ways, you could connect them, yeah. So just be creative with your with your ship and the design, and then just ma try to make it look as best as you could. So now that we got that in, I'm going to align this up here, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys once I finish making the ship, because I'm pretty sure you guys get the point of this part. So I'm gonna go through another speed. So I'll see you guys in a few in a few seconds or a minute, because you guys are gonna get a speed build of this. Meanwhile, I'm actually gonna be taking a while. So I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Alright gamers, well, that took quite a while, I didn't expect it to take that long, but hey man, you live and you learn I guess. But anyway, now that I got everything done, let's work focus on the coloring. The coloring is the interesting part of Geometry Dash, because like I told you, this thing right here, yeah, it matters where you put it. So, what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to grab the color white and fill in whatever I want with that color. For my primary so this layer is going to be meant for your primary colors so oh hold on, i forgot that's why i couldn't set anything there we go so what you're going to do is grab just fill in whatever you want as your secondary color yeah so this will be this will be well secondary primary this will be primary this will be primary wait no matter of fact that will be secondary this will be primary, this will also be primary, this will be uh, primary as well, this this will, this will be primary and this will be primary. Okay, so I got the color scheme set, 
So now what I'm gonna do is make a layer underneath because if you do it like this You're gonna see that it looks all sloppy. We don't want that So we're gonna get rid of that go make a layer underneath it and then pay, um, put backspace or just fill it in with the bucket and there you go Smooth everything's in there smoothly now. Let's add some variety into this color mixture. So we're gonna make this darker No matter of fact, we're gonna make that light gonna make this darker like that and then we're gonna make this light yeah we'll make that light and then we'll make this dark dark like a little more darker there we go and yeah the door I'll probably should set at one too I thought yeah I should probably set another color for that too right I can't fit it in the textures because if you look here goes over yeah it goes over the boundary so I won't be able to so we just go back here go boom oh wait no not this area oh right here this is the layer there we go so yeah we're gonna do boom there we go so now we got a door we got this we got this colored in and the windows we're gonna save for a special little thing I have planned for that one so for now we got everything done here and I might have to change the wheels too because I also looked at the file. It's not big. These wheels are too low for it to be a secondary color. So yeah, I'll just make those a little darker as well. So what I'm going to do is uh, grab... I don't see why not. Grab this one. There we go. Make it a little darker. Wait, no. Let's make, them, let's make it like this dark. There we go. And there. Now we have all the primary colors set. It's even these boys, you'll see what I mean here in the, for these boys in, this, in a second, hold on. So, now that we got that in, just gonna... I'm not gonna delete that just yet, I need that. I'm gonna delete the trace layer, and you can go ahead and save this, but before I do that, I'm just gonna close this. No, not that one. God. I'm gonna merge these layers down. There we go, now everything fits perfectly. Now let me just get rid of this layer. And save this all together as one image. So you're going to go into the folder. Hopefully you guys made a folder beforehand. To store everything. To store all your files and everything. Thank god I have things made right here. So texture pack stuff. I'm going to go into my ships folder. And I'm going to set from PDN to a PNG. That way it could be transparent. And I'm just going to name the ship 13. Since this is ship 13 of the game. And I'm going to name it 1 with parentheses. To keep it more organized. To tell it's the primary color and such. So yeah. We got... We're gonna flatten it. Oh, okay, I wanted to flatten that. Okay, so now the image is saved. Now I'm gonna control Z. That way I could have this boy back. And then I'm just gonna put this up here really quickly. Set it back to 100. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the magic wand tool and get the secondary colors, which is this white area stuff right here. So I'm gonna copy that. Open up a new file. Put yes for that. Wait, beforehand, I'm gonna set a background right here. No, not this. There we go. And we're gonna boom, boom. There we go. And I'm just gonna recolor something else. There we go. So there we go. There's th that's the secondary color of this ship right here. So what we're gonna do? Just gonna close that. It doesn't matter anymore. Wait, matter of fact, I'll just keep that there for reference, just in case you never know. So everything has to fit within these dimensions right here. So I'm gonna grab. So perfect. So what I could do here is do. Uh, gonna use the magic wand to look like this but I also want to get inside here so I'm gonna hold down control and then select this in the meantime because I want to make a little window over them that way it looks like they're looking inside outside a window otherwise there's gonna be nothing here so there we go like that then I'm gonna grab everything else that needs a secondary color so this this I can't make this a secondary color I just realized that so I have to make that another color soon so this is what I have so far for the coloring gonna Control C that. Oh wait, no. Let me just make another layer so I don't actually take these boys in there. So grab that, and then we're just gonna paste it within this. There we go. Now you kind of have to estimate where it like leaves off and everything. So I'm gonna take a look at this, which is why I kept this open actually. All right. So the white ends up here. So it's about like one, two. Yeah, probably a few, but like. I'm gonna say like seven, eight, probably like ten-ish pixels up. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Ten pixels. Uh, 
and this is one pixel before. So what we're gonna do is just go all the way down until it's exactly one pixel down. Hold on, I gotta check. Zoom in. One pixel. One pixel. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna grab the color white and just make sure that everything's set again like normal. Oh wait, this could be easier. I could just check down here. Okay, it's yeah, it has to go down one pixel. Okay. So I actually am missing. So one, two. Okay, that's perfect. So right there. Put it one down. Okay, this is the pixeling right here. This is the properties, the proper stuff you should see. And to add the little window effect here for these boys, to so, so that it doesn't color them completely, I'm gonna make all of these transparent by going into my adjustments and go to transparency. I think it's a plugin. I'll, I'll link you guys to my plugins just in case you guys need them. And I'll do it like at negative 50. Yeah, negative 50. No, like negative, negative 60. Yeah, negative 60. There we go. So now we get rid of the, we could get rid of this layer. And this is the, the new layer. This is the new secondary color right here. In the meantime though, let me actually I don't know what color to make this. I'll just make this black. No, let's not make that. Okay, we'll just make it another dark one too. There we go. Alright, hold on. I want to make this. Yeah, I'll make it like slightly darker as well. So, what I'm going to do is just grab this. Put this here. Don't mind me, I'm just experimenting here. Okay, there we go. Now, if I save this. Hold on, I gotta resave it now. Ship 13, one, yes, replace the original. Okay, yes, flatten it. And then save this. And we're gonna name this ship 13. And in part of the C, I'm gonna change it to two to represent the secondary color. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna open up the Geometry Dash Texture Pack Maker and make sure everything is set right. So, now I open. Oh wait, I have to show you guys stuff. I have object, you go to object, and then you put import, and you import your new ship, like so. So you're gonna do this. Perfect, there's one. And then the second part, object, import again for secondary color. Boom. Okay, it's a little off proportion, which is okay. I actually can't really see that well. Yeah, I can't really see in here well, but I almost got everything. I just move it up like one or two pixels. So, okay, so we're gonna do... Unless I just messed that one up. No, no. No, I shouldn't have. Okay. Maybe. One, two. Okay, let's move it up to two. Alright. Now that we got that in, we could check on the ship. So, if I go here, the ship is right here. You can't really see the icons, which is a shame, but hey, man, I guess I, I'll learn my lesson next time. Now, hold on, let me just make it bigger so it could be easier to see it. Okay, there we go. Make the resolution a little bigger. By the way, don't mind the background noise. People are doing things. But anyway, yeah, so as you can see, everything fits fine. The icons are right here. Sadly, they didn't right. fully go through. Huh? All right. And then, okay, as you can see, I made a mistake here, so I have to go back into the file and fix that. So, close that. Open back up. Now, as you can see, everything looks fine here except this. Yeah, this, everything looks fine except this. So what I'm going to do is I have to... Oh, wait a minute. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if. All right, boys, I'm back, and as you can see, it works now. The last thing we need is the glow, which is the hard part about this whole thing. Because if you mess up once, because no, this will determine whether your ship is too big or too small. That's what she said. But anyway, um, 
let me go back to this now I'm gonna show you guys how to make the glow and mind you this needs a plugin so if you don't have the plugins already I recommend you install them right now I have everything in the description below so yeah I'm gonna go to file uh, well I'm gonna control a control C and if I put file new or control N it'll show the file dimensions from the past one I always move it up by 20 by 20 more pixels so I do 420 to 240 here we go and now I'm gonna make the background this color and then as you can see the trains there so if you just control a and put effect center both it'll center your train in the middle and if I highlight out here there you go it'll only highlight the outside of the train which is what we want then I'm going to set this to white no blur and it should wi widen enough at 10 yeah 10 is the color right here 10 white don't forget that and then copy it and then just control a delete everything and then control V again and there you go and if you have any if you're unsure about anything that you left behind you could just set it all to white and you'll see I just got everything else delete this right here and now we have the glow so I'm gonna save that as well now this is the tricky part because uh, I have caps lock on so yeah so I'm saving that as glow and now this is where it gets tricky so you're gonna have to open up the directory to your geometry dash um, files so you could just go to steam for this open up your steam and if you don't have it I'll show you guys that way too matter of fact I'll just show you the way to go through this if you guys know how to do it on steam to open up your files I'm pretty sure you know to right click and just put open file location or whatever but yeah if you guys don't have it aka not legit um, you're gonna go to just open up a folder you're going to go to oh wait no you're going to do go to this PC you're gonna go to local disk you're gonna go to program files 86 steam steam apps common geometry dash resources and that's where it is you're gonna find your glow I'm pretty sure I get if you guys remember this this for the tutorial in the first episode go back to that if you also need that help so you're gonna copy game sheet glow HD that's the one we're doing with the medium textures and for those of you that are steam users you could just do this right click properties local files browse local files and yeah same thing but anyway now that we got that in we're gonna copy on that glow sheet that I just showed you go back to this new file it's gonna give you dimensions for it just put ok control V this is the file now set a background I set black because everything here is white there you go and look for the ship that you modified before so the ship we're looking for is this one hold on give me a second we're looking for this ship right here ship 13 so you have to look for something with a similar shape of this so it'll take some time it depends on the ship yeah sometimes some of them can be easy some of them can be hard to find so I'll probably cut it to when you when I find it so yeah all right I found it guys and if you guys are doing the same ship I am it's right here okay so yeah once you find your ship you want it to be the same exact dimensions except you don't want it to go over this because if you don't want it to go to go exactly as this because if you do and you open it up in geometry dash your glow will look like it's cut off so to avoid that problem I'm not gonna do that so you're gonna go back to your glow image and you're gonna have to do some experimenting with this I try at 85 first for this make a new layer first and then paste it in there and see if I'm either too big or too small <laughs> that's what she said again but anyway so I am too big on this file one two three I'm yeah I'm, I'm a little bit big so what I'm gonna do is go back to image change it to like 80 yeah 80 okay let's see if that did anything okay so I'm gonna paste it back in the same area okay okay everything's good except this area right here so I'm just gonna extend it by this much by one pixel and yeah now that you got that done everything make sure everything's below the pixel limit so you don't have it cut out grab the square tool hold down control and just get the last bit of the outside and then once you get that just press delete on the old layer and there's your new layer well I just want to make sure everything's good yeah everything's good here yeah okay so now that we have that your ship is here now get rid of the background 
there you go save it save it in the same exact directory and if you guys don't know that again i will do it again users program file 80, local disk c program files 86 uh steam steam apps common geometry dash resources change it from pd and the png so you could see everything and just search for gj game sheet glow hd put yes to, to, um, to replace it put save it flatten it that way it could all pop up in one layer there and with that being said you just pray to god you got that in one take if not we're gonna have to go back and fix the ship itself not the glow now that we got in you're gonna check the glow Ooh, so close so everything is good it's just the ship is a little too big we don't want that so i'm gonna take a screenshot of this close the geometry dash again and then oh go to the screenshot again okay so everything looks good here it's just that this is unproportional so we're gonna go down one two three so about one two wait hold on let me just check right here using the red so we're right here, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So yeah, 9 pixels going down to 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. 9 to 7 pixels down, so we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. And do the same thing for your secondary color, otherwise it'll end up not good. So we're gonna do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. And now you just save the new files here. Go back into your Geometry Dash Texture Pack Maker and replace those files with the updated ones. And then open up Geometry Dash. You're gonna have to test this a few times until you get it just right. Unless you guys want it that messed up that way, or you guys just don't want to use glow overall. Now, everything is fine. It is off by pixel, but I'll fix that later. But yeah, so the ship should be good now. So if I put my icon here and go into a level, and I go into Stereo Madness, as you can see, everything is good. My icon's in proper position, the ship is in there, and you can see the little icons in there. And yeah! I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial on how to make a ship. I'm sorry if some things ended up being a little sloppy or whatever. And the background noise. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wish I could do it in a more silent area, but uh, could take what I could get, you know? But anyway, let me know. <sighs> let me know if you guys want me to make another one of these. If you guys want to do it without commentary and text instead, if that's easier for you, let me know. And yeah. That's how you make ships, guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And like I said, if you guys want me to make another one like balls or P-list files on how to texture, modify buttons or files and all that, I will gladly do that. Just let me know in the description down below. I'm sorry for the horrible background noise, but what can I do? And uh, yeah, I hope you guys take care of yourselves. You know, stay fallen, but not sad. Take care, guys. I will see you on the next video. Peace.